Hi, in the first part, we have seen how to install the live server version in the local host. And now we will update this in the local host and upload it back to the live server. So after you download the latest plus and zip files from Envato account, you will get a zip file say updater 3.0 to 3.1. You need to copy and paste this zip file in the localhost files. Here are the localhost files which are installed in the jam folder. And now just extract it here. After you extract it, delete the zip file. Now go to the localhost uh, in the browser localhost slash test where we have installed this and slash updater right slash updater you will see a wizard and there are some instructions please read this before you proceed don't skip this part and now click on i agree and then you will see some text of these steps <coughs> First one is download the composer.exe file. You need to download this composer.exe and after you download and install it which is pretty simple just click on next 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 and you will install the composer. Uh, then you need to open the command prompt into the project folder. The project is installed in the uh, local localhost in the jam folder. So go to the jam folder htdocs and test this is our project root folder so just press shift here and press the right click of the mouse and click on open powershell window you will get a window like this a command prompt like this and just write cd core to redirect to core folder and run composer update command composer update so this will install all the third party packages required to run this project and it will take some time depending on the internet connection so i am pausing this part here and we'll get back once it finishes so you can see all the dependencies has been installed by the composer now let's go back to the wizard in the browser and click on the update database and languages now this will update the database and the language files. It has successfully updated. So let's go to the website. This is the updated version of the website. And you need to press Ctrl Shift R to reload this website to remove the caches. Now let's zip this file and upload to the live server. So this is our updated files. Let's zip this one. So our files has been zipped successfully. Let's open the uh, live server uh, cPanel. Here I need to delete all the previous files. But before that please keep backup of these files of the previous version. I am deleting this. And now I am going to upload the latest files from localhost which is in my stdocs test folder these are the updated files so the updated files are uploaded and now refresh this extract this so after extracting we need to delete the zip file refresh this folder this is the latest files. Now export the latest database SQL file from the localhost PHP my admin. Let's export this one. And we need to import this SQL file which we exported just now from localhost in the live server. So delete the previous database database tables. Before that, please keep backup of this. So I'm going to delete all the tables. Now import the latest SQL file which is in my downloads folder. This one. 
now we need to connect this database with the updated files so before that let's delete this updated updater folder it is no use here now and to connect the database we need to open the env file here we need to give the live server database information so the files are imported here successfully and it's been connected here in the env file now if we go to the creative.com creativedev.com slash test and press ctrl shift and r to reload you will see that we have updated the latest uh, latest files in your server thank you so much for watching